going? I know. Yeah, it's only gonna be on YouTube. Okay, so you got your wire cut. Now go ahead and put your you like put your waterproof connectors on first. The nice thing about doing this free, do anything else, is then you don't forget them. We try not to lubing this stuff up unless we actually use wire lube. Now the problem is, this is a good example. He switched to a 14 gauge wire compared to where I was doing the 18 before. We can get that to fit. Now what we'll do is, you, yep, just keep kind of, and you, sometimes twisting it helps. And this makes a great connection, wouldn't you agree, when it's that tight to get on there? If you have to lube it up, that's okay. Now, you guys saw this in that video yesterday. What was Harley or saying that they used the 14 gauge wire on? Ignition. Ignition. What they use 18 on? Lighting. Lighting, wire, well, quite a few wire harness stuff. And then what did they use 20 on? Stereo. What did they use 4? Battery. Got it. Getting closer? Not really. It's, it's just that hard. Good thing is the next one's short. On it. I got 12 gauge. <laughs> <laughs> this is going on YouTube. This is unprofessional shit. <laughs> talking like that. You're taking it that way. I'm not. <laughs> you were going to spit on it. Just stop. <laughs> no, I meant stop talking. Uh, just get that on there. I'm trying. I'll take it all the way back off. <laughs> all, that all that hard work. <laughs> You want a heck of a waterproof connector, wouldn't you? It's not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was pulling on it. Oh, Would you do that in the shop? So would I do that? Spit on it? Yeah. You probably don't want my DNA too bad here right now. No, you may. How about? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't even want. We're recording, Keith. Thanks, ladies. I got that one on. There's a there's an intent the way we did that, right? It's just sometimes we talk about this all the time in the class about just adjusting our technique. Why why do we really not want to use WD-40? To slow degrade the wire corrosion. Well, WD-40 is a great lubricant, but the problem is we're dealing with electrical. Is that really what we want? Is something that, you know, uh, is putting a, a, a petroleum-based product around electrical? Could no. Use this. That's cleaner. That gets super dry. <clears throat> if you take that and put it on your hand, you'll notice look how white it's turning me. So this is like brake cleaner. That would make it even worse. It would be okay to clean it, but it wouldn't be ideal. Do you guys see how this is directional? He has them on here the right way. We want the bigger part that's going to go up and slide on top of the connector. Okay? So you're good. So let's uh, strip them. You can either use, uh, why don't you just for practice, why don't you start with these. Do one with this one and then do the other one with the uh, quick stripper. What gauge are you using? 14. Okay, so you're going to match it up. Now, notice how it doesn't have a real super clean cut edge, okay? So what we're going to do, we're just going to fix that. This wire wasn't an exact length. We're going to do it again, but this time what he's going to do is he's going to grab onto that, pinch it down, and give it a quick uh, twist all the way around. Just try it one more time. Now, remember this is the wire that we were pulling on and stretching on trying to put that cover on? We might have damaged or stretched that insulation a little bit, making it difficult. You left or right handed? Do it either way, whatever's comfortable for you. Just got that tight. Nice. A lot cleaner cut there. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about is I'm looking at the ex excess here. Once again, we have a gauge, don't we? Every single time we have a gauge. So if we take a look at this, okay, 
we're just a hair long, but we're okay. It's not like it's going to be a mile. The only thing you have to think of on this connector is I will we will trim that back a little bit. You got to think about what's actually happening. This bullet's going to come in here. Is it going to kind of uh, push up on that? So now I want you to take your cutters and just twirl this up and just take a hair off of that. Once you start, you're dedicated. You gotta go. How come? That's okay. But the problem is, if this and a lot of guys do this, where they'll get in here and maybe they get distracted or they talk. Well, if I crimp down, what did I just do to the integrity of that wire? And now, if I'm moving in front of that, I have a crimp backwards. I'm gonna have a problem. Does that make sense? So once you once you touch it, you're dedicated. You're gonna have to go. So you did that one. Once you strip or once you move to the wire stripper, do the other side. Now, if you go too long, it doesn't matter, because you can always trim it. So we really don't care. So don't be too worried or too fragile with it. Just get in there. So you know. right here. Yeah. Go ahead and pinch down, and you're actually going to see. Now, just do it lightly, a little more. You see how much it's going to take off? Go for it. If you're a little long, no, ah, it's beautiful, right? Okay. Okay, so now we're going to switch back to our actual connector crimper. And I like to one we do first. It doesn't matter. We just got to make sure and put it on the right wire, the right side of it. This one, female, right? Yeah. So your longer waterproof connector there. You're going to preload it in the tool. That way. Now, one problem we got here. You're on the wrong side. You're on the oh, actual. Yeah, yeah. You're on the actual pin side. You want to go for mm -hmm. the crimp side. You're going to get that half moon back in there. Can you guys see this? one more time on the video here we're getting uh, where it's half moon on the back the open spot is going to go right towards that lip of the tool so you're just sitting there now get your wire in there and this is where you have to do it where it's comfortable for you whether you're left or right handed you don't have to view a scale on here you got to make sure you're far enough through the first one's going to more more all the way there you go you want to see your insulation there a little more even oh there that's beautiful but at least you can see, let's take a look in the camera here. What we're saying here is that this insulation has to be down a little bit. Remember we want the flare? Okay, so we want it like that. All right, we'll let him crimp that up. We'll check the work here and then uh, we'll take some turns here. And what you guys should do, yeah, notice how he decided to switch direction. You gotta figure out what's gonna be comfortable for you. Can't stress that. If it's not comfortable, you're going to end up having a bad connection. Too good. Right there. Go for it. Okay. Nice. See how you're... Now that he's in the installed place, he's got a little bit of insulation showing here. Now move to the top one. Use the same largest one on there. Now make that one tight, really crimp down on it. You go to the second one? Yep. Now when we go to heavier gauge wire here, sometimes it'll get too wide and you won't really be able to use the second one. That's good, probably. Let's check it out. I'm going to check his work here. Oh, wasn't tight enough on that insulation side. You told me to stop. I barely squeezed it. I thought you got it. <laughs> oh well, practice perfect. Let's do it one more time. Change fault. You just do whatever it takes to make that thing tight and then hand it to me. That shouldn't have pulled out though because he went to the double crimp on the wire part of it. So, what's going on? You know so much faster he did at that time. Why don't you do this once? It's, it's pretty good. Why don't you go back? Did you get that one good and tight insulation one? We barrel down on it. Okay, here's the reality. If I can pull this off here, it's going to pull off when you're pulling it off the harness because the technician is grabbing the wire here anyway to pull it off. So that connector has to be on there good and tight. So now your last step is to slide your uh, 
waterproof connector up there. I hate calling that waterproof because that is not waterproof. It's just a deterrent of water. Do you say like those ones you use those uh, watercraft ones? The Deutsch connectors like we're uh, shown in the classroom. It dries quick. It does. <laughs> Worked pretty amazing though, didn't it? Mm -hmm. The high tech tool, that saliva. Under pressure. Now, what could it be done to make this easier before you start? Keep going. Yeah, you just put it on again. It'll dry. It's just like soapy water. We use soapy water a lot on tires versus a lube because we know it'll evaporate. It'll dry and it'll be gone. Versus if you use a lube, that's going to, you know, basically uh, treat that wire and allow it to slide back off on its own. Oh, that's soapy water. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, I'd agree with that. That's what it was always called when we test the valve. We're changing tires. Then you do it right away. What am I doing different? Watch my technique. You're pulling from the bottom. I'm grabbing underneath here, pulling the wire, and I'm just actually, you know, I'm lifting that a little bit. Fingernails. <coughs> Not that bad, but anyway, we're good there. So now uh, we can, uh, why don't we switch to Jeff, why don't you come around and do this other one here? Like I said, you guys will all do this. Are we still recording? We can keep going. It's already done. I just want you to crimp that and we'll just, we'll just start over yeah, with the new wire before we do something. Like to exchange and do everything. Sometimes you just can't see this till you get up close and personal with it here. So, reload that tool. Okay, just a light little tension. Now get it comfortable for you, whether you're left or right-handed, whatever you're going to do. That doesn't look very comfortable to me. That comfortable to you? Okay, let's check let off. Yeah, a little insulate. Beautiful. Now do the next one. It's a little hard to tell from above. Now switch back. You ever go down all three of them? No. no. And we'll do one. I'll show you why not to. Go ahead. Do your insulation one more time on the top one. Now you guys, for practice here, I'm having you take baby steps. If I was doing this, I'd just be in there just crimping down and going and moving forward. Does that make sense? Okay, it's got this up here. Let's take a look at our overall connection. There. Once again, the whole idea to this is that, did you notice how I kind of had to, this is a little bit violated, whether it's from the way it was stored or whatnot, but you notice how I'm actually making sure before I put this through the bullet that the the male uh, insulator is actually going in the female insulator. What would I actually do on a real connection? It would lube it, and what would I what would I put on there? Dielectric, Dielectric grease. But as, as we take a look at this, now here's the way to test your connection here. Okay, that's not. It's going to take real effort to take that apart. Is that going to be a good electrical connection? It sure is. Super flexible. We can put that thing wherever we need it to go, and that's a that's a good start of a jumper wire. Okay, you process that one.